What's up, Capricorns? I apologize for the lateness of this uh, this reading. So we I got a little over a week for y'all. I apologize. The uh, the readings have been delayed, but um, this is the weekly. So, if you're new here, hi. My name's Tori. I do these readings weekly. Normally, I do the Earth signs um, on Thursdays, but I'm also in school full time, so that's more important. But um, yeah, if you're interested in anything I um anything that i have going on it's all linked in the description below if you want a personal reading you can email me at the email in the description and um i'll get back to you as soon as i can about what a personal reading entails um let's see what do we got for the cap oh Page of Pentacles in reverse. Noted. Um, I feel like the Page of Pentacles in reverse is about kind of like... It can be a little bit of laziness. It can be also just not really taking action on things because you don't think anything is going to come of what you would be taking action on anyway. Um, oh! Oh! What is this? This kind of popped out. Wow, this card keeps coming out. The Eight of Wands. Upright. Some sort of fast, rapid change. That's what the Eight of Wands is. It could be some sort of quick communication from somebody, maybe, um, in regards to an opportunity. Um, let me see. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Something you've been growing impatient about. Whenever I see the Seven of Pentacles, I'm seeing, and like I'm, I'm thinking of impatience. Seven of Pentacles is like divine timing. You've planted the seeds. This is all about investments as well. Investing your energy, investing your time. This is like, I'm getting just like futility. A lot of like futility. I wanted to get that from, I wanted to say that from the, the moment this card popped out. Like, this is futile. This, 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 there's no point. I don't know if y'all are feeling that way. Um, six of Wands in reverse. Again, y'all are feeling really, um, I'm just getting defeated. You're, you're feeling defeated. I'm getting Five of Swords vibes. Like disappointment and defeat. Not disappointment. Defeat. You guys are feeling like there's no point because I'm not going to win anyway. It's not. Nobody's going to. Thanks for noticing me like Eeyore. You know what I mean? But something. Yeah. The tides are turning though. For you Capricorn. This is your energy too. King of Pentacles. Something's. Something's working out in your favor and you're not realizing it. This is not this being similar to the Virgo reading. Um, it could be like maybe y'all have just been in a funk because Mercury's in retrograde and it's going direct today. And so maybe things are about to change for you and you're about to see things kind of come to fruition or something specific come to fruition. Um, let me see. It's like something you're no longer patient about or being patient with. It's a lot of cards. All right. These two. Four pentacles and the ten of wands. Um... I'm just getting this. Why is it? I'm still getting this vibe of like the wait is over, which is similar to the Virgo reading that I just did. So I don't know if y'all are like, I don't know, in the same boat 
as a Virgo. I'm not it, quite getting exactly the same vibes. I'm getting like um little again, a little bit of like like laziness. Four of Pentacles comes out. That's about like um keeping keeping things close to your chest. What you're doing, your moves that you're making. You're not really telling people. I feel like you kind of don't trust certain people around you. So like whatever it is you're keeping, maybe it's bogging you down a little bit. And maybe it's kind of debilitating you. Why are these cards getting crazy right now? Maybe you're the one everybody goes to, right? And you have you have you're the one keeping everybody's like shit, and like it's becoming burdensome to to keep it all. You know what I mean? Or like, I'm just seeing like you taking responsibility for a lot of things and keeping that to yourself, and that becomes like a burden in and of itself. Almost like you can't get, you can't do what you need to do for yourself because you're like, I'm not taking care of everybody else, but you're, um, like nurturing everyone else. There it is, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, I feel like there's some sort of change that's about to happen that allows you to kind of drop the burdens, like other people's shit. Things like, again, if it's possibly things that you're keeping to yourself, you're not, I don't see it as like you're letting it out, you're speaking up about it, you're just not holding on to it anymore. You're not allowing it to debilitate you anymore. And it's, 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 whatever this is is happening quickly and allowing you to kind of stand on your own two feet and actually accomplish whatever it is you're setting out to accomplish that's the three of swords comes out in reverse at the bottom which is about again releasing letting go of whatever this ugh, is dropping it it could be like grudges too. Like you could be holding on to grudges with people or things or situations and you're finally learning to like not hold on to it anymore. Or maybe you're needing to know that that's what you need to do is let go of it in order to progress forward. Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, for me, that's about, again, like, especially with these two cards, like, I'm just getting inner truths. You giving yourself clarity. Like, it's not like anybody's, it's not like you're having a conversation with anybody that is allowing you to, like, like, it's not like a specific conversation is happening that you're like, oh, okay, we talked. I can drop this. You're kind of, it's like, you're kind of giving that information to yourself. I mean, the eight of wands can sometimes be in a conversation. I'm just not seeing it being specifically that in this reading. I'm seeing it more of like getting information that perpetuates this, this change for the better. That's how I'm seeing it. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. So it's like you finally feel as though whatever you're getting, whatever you're putting out, you're finally getting back, right? But I feel like you're doing that yourself. I, I'm not seeing um, any exchange happening between you and another person. It's just you're realizing that you have to let go of certain things in order to um stand on your own two feet like this 
this nine of pentacles right here she can't stand on her own two feet if she's holding all of this you know what i mean and holding on to it with a kung fu grip nonetheless it's like weighing, it's weighing a person down. You're finally realizing on your own that there are burdens you need to let go of in order to feel as though, like in order to feel weightless, really. Progress. In order to feel progress. In order to feel like you've accomplished something. In order, like, it, I'm not... I'm not seeing this as being anybody else's issue, Capricorn, but your own. It's not like anybody's doing anything to you. It's not like anybody, you know, it's it's not like anybody is purposely being a dick to you, whatever it is, right? Or taking advantage. You're just refusing to kind of let things go. And so they're holding you back. Um, let's see. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Again, that's that, that energy of like... You having opportunities in front of your face that you're missing. Because again, you're holding on to these burdens, right? Look look at this card. She's holding on to all of this these these wands, right? If somebody were to hand her something, how like something good, how would she take it? She'd have to let she'd have to drop this first in order to be able to embrace the pentacle. You know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what's needing to happen here. It's like the opportunity's right there. You're just not grabbing it because you're holding on to all the shit that you shouldn't be holding on to. Once you learn to let go of that shit, you can go and grab the opportunity. That's right there. And so the Ace of Pentacles comes out in reverse because it's like, hello, you're missing it. Don't miss out on the opportunity. Just because it's not smacking you right in the face. What are you going to do? Catch it with your mouth? No, you got to drop the fucking burden that you're holding on to. The things that you're holding close to your chest. Yeah, Knight of Wands. I feel like whatever it is, A, it's coming quickly. And B, it's something that um, is going to make you feel like, again, free. I just keep getting this free feeling. But it's really up to you to, to, to drop the burdens and feel that freedom. And allow yourself to feel it. I mean, this could be in the form of anything, right? This could be in the form of a relationship. Maybe you're holding on to the burdens from the past, the hurts from the past, the things that weighed your relationships down in the past. Here comes this new person. You're not even, they're right in front of your face and you're not seeing them because you're refusing to let go of the burdens from the past. Could be that. You know, somebody who's willing to give you back what you deserve, what you've given in return you know what i mean like somebody who's willing to meet you halfway could be that if it's a if this is a relationship thing if it's not a relationship thing it's just like you missing out on opportunities because you're holding on to all of let's say the the negative thoughts that hold you back that tell you that you ain't shit and then you you perpetuate that and you become this person who seems lazy you know what i mean and people maybe people say oh they're fucking lazy this and that when really it's a confidence issue if you just learn to let go of your confidence issues you'd be able to take action on the things that you wanted and actually accomplish them take it as it resonates yeah three of pentacles this is, a, this is the start of a solid foundation. Again, if it's a relationship, it's somebody who's, you know, maybe seems fun at first and maybe maybe seems like, you know, um, nothing serious at first, possibly. But at the very least, you, you can start somewhere with the Three of Pentacles. If, if it's not a relationship thing, it's um, 
you laying the groundwork for whatever it is you're wanting to achieve and taking action on that two of wands completely knowing where you want to go knowing what you want to do how you want to do it and actually implementing that and starting the building of the foundation so that you you have some sort of legs to stand on but it all requires you to drop the burdens first let go of the thoughts that tell you you're not good enough that type of shit and the eight of wands is definitely something that some sort of communication or something that comes that probably allows you to do that and make that change five of cups focusing on the wrong shit like i keep saying this is getting redundant now i'm gonna pull two more cards and then i'm done with y'all this is focusing on the wrong shit this this lady right here she still got two cups in her in her picnic bag bot basket whatever the fuck that is but she's focusing on the three that have spilled she's focusing on the wrong shit and so how can she ever progress forward if she's continually f just hyper focused on that three cups that have spilled you got the lovers Again, if this is about um, 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 a romantic situation, this is a good sign that whoever this person is that could potentially be coming into your life quicker than you're realizing is a solid person that you will have some sort of deep connection with eventually. I don't, I don't think this is a person from the past or anything like that. Let's see. Five of Swords in reverse. <laughs> Not me speaking too soon. This can be the card of reconciliation. <laughs> if it's a person. But more, I don't think, I still don't think it's anybody from the past or reconciliation because I'm not even really getting a re too much of a relationship vibe here. If it is though, I mean, it could be for some Capricorns. Um... It's somebody who's got, who's solid. They seem fun at first. They're free. They're lighthearted. It's light energy at first, playful, maybe even like very sexually driven. You know what I mean? But at the very least, it can grow with this three of pentacles into, can be built into this deeper situation. If this has nothing to do with that, and this is like career, life, whatever, the lovers is just an indication of harmony and being in love with what you're doing and being on the right path for yourself, for your your higher self. You know what I'm saying? Five of Swords in reverse is letting go of the resistance. If it's a new person, let's say, it's like you are no longer fighting that. You're letting go of that resistance so that you can move forward. That's with a relationship or just career in general. Like in general, that is just you letting go of the resistance that you are holding on to. Work through your fears, right? If you're if you're fearing a commitment with somebody, work through them. Because it's probably gonna be worth it. You and your loved ones are safe, right? Again. That's that that's, you know, oh, I can't commit to this because what if I fail this and that everything's going to be fine. You you are fine. Be bold and make the first move. I'm really feeling also step out of your comfort zone. A time for healing at the bottom. Let's see what's at the top. A new start is coming. I really feel like we're close to step out of your comfort zone. Let's see. All right, you're very, you're very close to achieving your goals. Um, one more. Okay, and a personal issue reaches resolution. It's not it's not anywhere close. Um, I do feel like y'all need to step out of your comfort zone, but 
you are about to i feel like whatever the change there there are about to be changes for you things are about to take a turn it's the it's the it's the fiery climax um that you need to put you on the path of least resistance the path of least resistance that's what I got for you, Capricorn. Um, I appreciate your patience with me. And um, I'll see y'all in the next reading. Peace out.